So let's keep this energy going for our first comedian of the night. I want to bring us to the stage, Socrates! Keep going, Matthew! 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 How y'all doing tonight? Good. Yeah, great. My name is Socrates. I'm an American. Thanks, appreciate. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I take me get up in here. This uh, this is a uh, hard year. I turned 57 this year, or as the Dutch say, 75, <laughs> which is more brutally honest. That's how I feel. Yeah, it's uh, anybody missed 2022? Yeah, me neither. Hell of a year, wasn't it? It's like five years long. At least mine's going into my second year. Back in March, I was taught a Dutch word that changed my life. Yeah, that word is aangeleden. Yeah, which unfortunately means to be slammed into. In my case, in context, it was ik ben aangeleden door een scooter Because I got slammed into by an asshole on a scooter. Uh, it was exciting. I came around this blind corner and there was a scooter there on the bike path. I tried to explain to him the whole etiquette of the feet path, but didn't have time, so I just said, ah! <laughs> I went flying like a bird and then I landed like an octopus <laughs> which is you know as a Greek I appreciated but as a person with bones it wasn't good and I landed on my arm here and they, they kind of like smashed my arm and I got to go to the hospital the uh, house of Patacetamol <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Yeah, I feel it too. <laughs> and uh, they uh, took one look at me and they said, would you like some morphine? Yeah, I said, yeah. Because, you know, at that point of the day, that was the only good thing that happened so far. <laughs> and they looked at the x-ray and they made that face and said, would you never want to see a doctor make? And she said, would you like some more morphine? <laughs> yeah, if that's all you got. And they did what they call conservative treatment, which is nothing. <laughs> you know the blue strap? I got the blue strap. They got this blue strap. It's a strap. It's blue. It's got a piece of Velcro, because it's modern. It's adjustable. And you hold your arm like this. That was it. Oxy cotton and a blue strap, and they sent me home and they said, It comes good. If you've heard this thing, doctors and therapists here, they all tell you it comes good. It's easy, it's cheap, it's optimistic, five minutes in time. So I'm home and they told me to exercise my arm so it doesn't like a, get a frozen shoulder, they keep telling me. That's the, the big worry, a frozen shoulder. So I'm in my backyard trying to keep my arm limber and stretching it and waving to the people walking in and my neighbors. And it's getting a real bad vibe from the people. They all thought I was a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I told them about my arm and now they think I'm just practicing to be a Nazi. <laughs> it's not any better. And I went back to the doctor and said, hey doc, you know, it's not coming good. You know, I can, I can raise my arm about that much this would help, and, you know, I can't get my arm up. I have arm erectile dysfunction. <laughs> and the first step in coming good is getting it up. And I need help to do that. And he said, hey lads and vindicates. <laughs> Which is a useless Dutch saying. It doesn't help to know what it means because it means, oh well, peanut butter. <laughs> it's not helpful. It's less helpful in a medical situation. It rhymes. I'll give you credit for that. It rhymes. The Dutch love a good rhyme, you know. My favorite Dutch one is uh, no in the coking. Because it also rhymes. Uh, but it means fucking in the kitchen. I don't know how to use no in the coking in context. I mean, hey la spin the cast. I know how to do that. I've done hey la spin the cast. But no in the coking. Been a long time. 
The thing is, though, it's like if you combine Nokin into Kokin and Halos Pentecost, you end up with some cave sauce. <laughs> you don't know what's a strange peanut butter thing they put on chicken. It's, it's pornographic, is all my point. <laughs> so I said to the doctor, you know, could we do a medical procedure? Uh, because it's been like many months, and that was like five months later, and eventually they did surgery back in November, and they kind of went overboard with the thing because they put in 12 screws, a carbon fiber plate, a bone from a dead Dutch person. I don't know who it was. I didn't kill him. <laughs> they would have had it been really weak for me to do it. But they also cut bone out of my knee and some marrow, bone marrow, and stuck it up here for some unknown reason. And then I couldn't walk. Yeah, there's a Dutch word for that one too, which is, hey man. <laughs> I'm sitting down the night. Yeah. There's a lot of worse things. That, hey, hey, it's like a strange word that you don't know how to use that in context either, but you hear it a lot, you know. You hear yourself say it, you know, like when the train just passes. Hey, hey. There's worse times to hear it, though, like, you know, just before sex. It's not a good time to hear that, you know. Still better than hearing it just after sex, perhaps. <laughs> But I just went to Germany uh, because my friend suggested I get a second opinion and the Germans, <laughs> they've done a lot of experimentation. <laughs> and I went there and they checked it out and uh, they said according to their tests, uh, my mother was Jewish. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> they offered me a shower. I declined. <laughs> We talked about the arm and they asked me about how well I could move it and I showed them how well I could move my arm and they said, you know, that's a little too German. <laughs> and they sent me back home. Yeah, so in a couple weeks I'm going to have yet another surgery. They're going to take out all what they did and uh, throw the dead guy in the bin, which is kind of a shame, you know, killed a man for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going through life's changes. They're not good so far. You know, I, was, I thought this year I was going to get into shape. I ended up getting into a shape, <laughs> which is the shape of pregnancy. <laughs> you know, like when I was growing up, you know, I used to have my own emoji. You know, it's not the aubergine. It was a rhinoceros, you know. It's a little bit thick but strong, you know, with a horn to be proud of. But now I realize I'm turning into the elephant because I'm thicker and fatter, slower. My trunk's just dangling down. You know, I used to think of him as Mr. Johnson, Mr. William Johnson, Willie to his friends. <laughs> now I realize it's not necessarily a name. It could also be a question. Willie? Hey, man. <laughs> My name is Akati. You're a great little cowboy.